Hey guys, just got my new Darter Pro from System76. And I wanted to give you a first look. So this is the DARP 6 model. Uh, this one was ordered with um, the 4.9 gigahertz i7 chip, 64 gigs memory, and also upgraded with the uh, 500 gig NVMe drive. Um, we ordered two of them, uh, so it was 3850 for, for both. Uh, so we figure, uh, what about 1800 each or 1900 each? Um, but so far, way worth it. I got it yesterday. Um, let me uh, let me scoot around here, and we'll look over it. All right, so. Let me grab you off the tripod here. So right now, so this was ordered with, uh, I originally ordered it with Ubuntu 1804, but then I read that they were uh, still working on some bugs or, or something, uh, some tweaks, and they were shipping the 19.10 versions out. So. I changed my order to Pop OS 1910 and was able to get it um, uh, shipped out. So let me uh, let me show you how quick this boots. It has the core boot. So let me just uh, shut this down. And I'll show you. So this, so I think this is a sticker. Um, let me show you the ports on the side here. Plenty of ports. You got USB-C, which it also charges with. You got USB, uh, that Thunderbolt, I guess that is. HDMI. Uh, you have the uh, the like memory card spot here, and then you have a, a Ethernet. So you just you drop this little guy down, and your Ethernet cable can go in there. And this is that funny laptop lock thing, which I never understand. On the other side, you have the barrel connector charger, comes with one, two more USBs, microphone, and headphones. So the Darter Pro, I wanted to show you the model number, but I'm right in front of the light here, so it looks like. So the model number for the Clevo, and I'll put this down in the description as well, N151CU. So this is plastic, uh, about a dozen screws holding it on. But this model did allow you to have 64 gigs of memory, whereas the, the DARP 5 allowed 32. So let's flip it around, open it up, and let me put the, uh, put you back on the tripod here, and kind of line it up, and you'll be able to see what the, uh, the boot time is like here. All right, I encrypted the drive. Putting some extra things in here so you don't understand what my password was. It, literally no boot time at all. So, um, it came with Pop! OS. The Pop! OS default desktop environment is GNOME 3 with I guess a couple of tweaks. Um, I originally, I usually use XFCE which is nice and light but I figured with all this firepower on this guy uh, I could use cinnamon and uh, use that. So we order these through work. Uh, everybody at work gets a MacBook Pro um, but I told my manager I wanted to get one of these so uh, giving up my MacBook Pro for, for this and my 
my old MacBook can go to one of the new hires we just got. But so far, it's great. Um, no complaints. Uh, I do DevOps type work infrastructure. So um, it is Ubuntu 19.10 underneath the Pop! OS. So some things were a little difficult to, not, not difficult, but just uh, like Docker, I had to, to jump a few hoops. Um, Docker, kubectl, minikube, uh, Terraform. Um, some of the some of the items uh, they don't have things out for Ubuntu 19.10 yet, so you just have to uh, go through it a little bit. But it's all working. It's all working great. And uh, I'll do a probably more full review in the next couple of weeks after using it. But it's great so far. I love it. And uh, half my coworkers already came up to me and wanted to look at it. And it's now coming from a MacBook Pro at work. It's probably, I mean, it's it's lighter feeling. Um, but I mean, it's built well. Escape key is there, and we're good. So if you have one, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one, go ahead and pull the trigger and get it. So I think the uh, the shipping times, when I ordered it, uh, I ordered it on October 24th, no, 21st, and just got it yesterday, which was November 6th. So that was 15, 16 days or so. Um, but I think they just had a build up because it's a, a new new model with the core boot. But I uh, hope you get one. Let me know in the comments what you think. And we'll see you next time.